Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, what should I do if I get arrested? Before I rattle off a list of things that you can and that you should do in the event of, a, of an arrest, I need to lay out a few universal arrest truths, five of them to be exact. One, when it comes to police citizen encounters, the most important thing to know are that cops are trained to assume immediate control over the situation, to expect the unexpected, and to preserve their own safety first, foremost, and forever. Two, no matter how right or wrong anyone may be, you, the citizen, are not in control. Three, your words and actions may be legal, but in any given situation, any given cop can interpret them as being confrontational. Four, if a cop has it in mind to arrest you, then be it right, wrong, or indifferent, you're getting arrested. Five, there is a time, a place, and a person to challenge your arresting officer's actions and decisions. That time is most definitely not in the moment. It's later. The place is most definitely not at the scene. It's in a courtroom. And the person is most definitely not you. As anything that you think that you can say, your criminal defense lawyer can say better, smarter, and safer. With those five universal arrest truths established, let me give you six generic pro tips that will serve you well. First, as painful as it may be, practice the golden rule, do unto others. Why? Because when you do unto others, you will significantly reduce the odds of things going south. Two, noting that this dovetails with my first pro tip, mind your actions. What may be inoffensive to you, simple things like getting out of your car or reaching for your vehicle registration without having been asked to do so, can easily be interpreted as offensive or dangerous by a police officer. Three, if officer unfriendly wants to arrest you, for the love of God, just let it happen. It may not be right, lawful, or fair, but in that moment, at that time and in that place, it is what it is, unless you yourself cho choose to fuel the fire and make it worse. Four, never, ever lecture a cop about your constitutional rights. You are far better served by simply invoking them. If you politely hashtag up X2, shut up and lawyer up, or invoke the fifth and the sixth, then you're far less likely to inadvertently or not trigger the police officer. Five, follow police instructions to the letter and do not resist or flee. Should a cop direct you to do X, then just do X. Six, finally, make sure to commit a few phone numbers to memory. Why? A cop may or may not let you use your cell phone in the moment, you definitely will not have access to your cell phone in the jail. And if you might wind up getting booked, you're gonna to need to know how to get a hold of someone who can deal with your bond. That said, I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.